This is North Dakota Today. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thanks for joining us for North Dakota Today on this Tuesday morning. Big day. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, North Dakota. So we just did like a little deep dive into the history of North it's, Dakota. That's so cool. There's so many cool details. I, I mean, that we didn't know. 132 years. It's a big birthday. It's a big birthday. Yeah. It is a big birthday. So. so we were talking about all the cool. Everybody had their own. Well, did you know what North Dakota was known for? Jordan Schreer said, well, the uh, production of honey. We lead the nation exactly. in the production of honey. I, maybe I did, I did know not that. We know have that. a lot of honey um, from, uh, from the bees that are out in the mm -hmm. canola fields out in western North Dakota. I said Josh Dumel. That's going to be of one course. of those. You did. <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh, we're talking about Lawrence Welk. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Peggy people. Lee. Uh, lots of cool things. And of course, the lots. Badlands. There's so many beautiful parts to North Dakota that you don't realize, but it unfortunately is the um, least visited. Oh no, state! I don't know if that's something we want to be known for, but I do like the fact that Dakota is the Sioux word for friend or ally. Oh, okay. I mm -hmm. don't know that I knew that. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. So and, anyway, and, and how did I not say Roger Maris as well? Oh, We're of course. Famous oh people. Gosh, we just could North go Dakota on and well. on and on. I'm sure. So, but yeah. There's just lots, lots to celebrate. So if you want to eat cake today for no reason other than <laughs> that it's North Dakota's birthday, that's, <laughs> that's okay. all right. So Where's happy. our cake? And uh, you know, we might have a few people watching from South Dakota. Apparently it's South Dakota's birthday. And today. Montana. And Montana. Okay, so. A couple of our bordering states did you, are. Did your mom ever have you have a birthday party with other people when you were a yes. kid? Yes. One time my mom did it and I still like talk about it. I was like, it was terrible. You didn't like it? No, I want my oh. own day. Not, I don't want to share Who'd my you birthday have to share with, it with? with two other, with Shelly Durick. She lives <laughs> in Fargo. <laughs> she probably loved Shelley. it. Shelly. Shelly, I'm sorry. I love you. But I remember when we had a joint birthday party and I thought, well, geez, I have to share my day. But share the cake. No, it was fun. I'm sure we were like very young at the time. But mine was with my friend Dana and uh, we had, you know, of course, small towns, right? So we all had the same friends. And it was a blast. You loved it? I loved it. Well, but, I would love know. two parties more than one great party, but okay, no, that's okay. I don't know, we our moms it. decided that we should just do one. Do they one were party. trying to get away with Very one. Very smart moms. That's probably it's a what smart, it was. Now that I'm a mom, yeah, I guess yeah. I understand But I it. get the part about, you know, having to share Wanted it. to have your own day. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, uh, I always find this interesting, and I don't know why. The word of the year, because a lot of times it's... Um, I thought this was interesting, too. I was like, what? Oxford Dictionary's word of the year this year is vax. Vax. Uh, well, and it makes sense. Many people can relate to the word, whether you're vaxxed, double vaxxed, unvaxxed, maybe anti-vax. <laughs> we use the word vax a lot. Apparently, we do. Uh, the word became 72 times more frequent by September of this year than it was the same time last year. And then I thought, let's look up the last couple of years, because it used to be kind of crazy, fun pop words. I couldn't find that last year had one word. In fact, um, a couple of words popped up, like COVID-19, social distancing, um, climate emergency. Uh, I don't like those words. That toxic. was the word of 2019. Toxic was in 2018. That's not good. That's not good. So, but and vax. So vax, because vax. it's short for vaccine. But you do hear it a lot when you think about you it. Do. When you do. I, I, when I saw it, I was like, what? What's that? You know, and I didn't think about it. But then I'm like, oh, duh. <laughs> Yeah, we use it a lot. I, I remember when we had to learn how to say, you know, coronavirus, and yeah. then the whole social distancing. That was a term that we'd never it, right. heard of. I know before. So I know. Anyway, interesting. It's the world we live in. It is. It is. Another. I, I don't feel like this is a good sign of like the world we live in, but I'm just bothered by this. So I wanted to talk about. I don't it. understand people. I know vandalizing. One thing, vandalizing. Um, statues outside of churches is a whole yeah. other bizarre it's like thing. what is the purpose like i know i don't know if you had heard about this it was being in the news yesterday saint anthony's catholic church in fargo was vandalized in fact the saint anthony statue the church's namesake uh, it was decapitated over the weekend this same church um their virgin mary was uh, also decapitated back in 2018 and i 
I have to think, what are people doing? Because this, this statue is made out of marble. So, Ooh, you know, yes. I mean, can you fix that? How much, yeah, you know, know, what was the force that was used? Exactly. So they're asking people, if you know uh, anything about what this. what comes over people. You I maybe just, live in the area, have video on your yeah, ring hopefully, cam. Hopefully they can somebody find. Ca somebody sees it. It's so, so yeah. sad. It is super sad. So, so sad. I, it wasn't, I think it was at St. Mary's well, Cathedral, somebody spray painted. Yeah. Um, one of the. That was recent too. As well, so. It's like. Anyway, yes, if you know anything about this, just please uh, give them a call. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, turning to entertainment news, yes. always a little bit happier news. Spend your evening with the FBI and Halle Berry as they have a plan to save the world. Anthony Pura has your eye on entertainment report. Are we dead? No, we are just inside the moon. A mysterious force knocks the moon from its orbit around the Earth, sending it on a collision course with life as we know it in the upcoming film Moonfall. Just weeks before impact and world annihilation, a NASA executive and former astronaut teams up with an astronaut from her past and a conspiracy theorist to save the planet. Halle Berry and Patrick Wilson star. Moonfall is set for release in February. Christie's has a little something for everyone in its upcoming 20th and 21st century art auction. Topping the bill, a painting called The Guilt of Gold Teeth by Jean-Michel Basquiat. Bidding on the work is expected to start at $40 million. It has the urge, it has the intensity, it has the toughness, but it has the grittiness also. There are also works from other renowned artists, including Banksy, Monet, Warhol and Beeple, including Human One, an animated NFT. The art goes on the auction block November 9th and 11th at Christie's in New York. And the FBI returns to CBS tonight with all new episodes. It all kicks off at 8 with FBI as Omar feels pressure from Mona yeah, to change his career path. Things are really busy at work. I don't want to leave my team in the lurch. Followed by FBI Most Wanted. Hannah's back with the team for the first time this season and Forrester learns his mother, who disappeared years ago, was recently spotted in Moscow on FBI International. Catch all three tonight on CBS. That's your eye on entertainment. Anthony Pura, CBS News, Los Angeles. And don't go anywhere. We have a designer in so studio excited. today talking about getting the most out of your renovation budget and giving us some home decor tips as well. Excited for 